I remember seeing the mask as quite a young child and being really quite terrified by it. This was, of course, back when I didn't even know who Jim Carrey was. I didn't associate his name with this character. Certainly, it's it's quite a quite an eerie um, atmosphere and vibe when you watch this as a child. It is PG, surprisingly. I actually thought it would have been a bit a bit older. Um, but this was released in 1994, directed by Chuck Russell and written by Mike Werb. Starring, of course, Jim Carrey as Stanley and The Mask. We also have Cameron Diaz as Tina Carlyle. And the narrative description from IMDb is as follows. Bank clerk Stanley Ipkiss is transformed into a manic superhero when he wears a mysterious mask. Obviously, we have this green, this bright green face mask. So there are two things here. There's the narrative and then there's the visual quality. The narrative itself, I didn't really care for. It was fascinating to a degree. I liked the idea that this average bank clerk would become this superhero when he put this mask on. I thought that was fairly interesting and I think they kind of opened up some interesting avenues and dealt with that as a concept quite well. And... You know, it was interesting enough to watch, but it wasn't the most compelling thing I've ever seen. I wasn't that bothered about, you know, how the film would conclude or what would happen along the way as the narrative progressed. It was fine. It was interesting. Nothing that I hadn't really seen before in some other kind of superhero film. I mean, certainly as a child, I hadn't seen that kind of thing before. But um, yeah, in hindsight, it's kind of maybe innovative at the time. But it wears a bit thin at this stage. But obviously that's not the film's fault. Cause and effect. The visual, however, is brilliant. That actual mask, the design of the mask, the bright green, that is a fantastic choice. They could have made it a bit more muted or changed the colour, but I, it definitely would not have had the same effect. I feel like that was a fantastic decision that was made to make it that colour, that design. Because I think even if you haven't seen the film, if you were to see a picture of Jim Carrey wearing this mask, you would instantly recognise what this is and what the film is and what it's from. And that's you know, that's absolutely true. And that's an achievement. That's a big achievement if a film can do that. I also think Carrey's performance was absolutely brilliant. Very high energy, very high intensity. Obviously, there's some editing involved in that too. He can't run at the speed of light. But... It's really compelling and a lot of fun, really good fun to watch. So although the narrative wasn't something that I was that emotionally invested in, the actual visual quality of the film is really great. So it's never going to be my favourite film, but I'm okay with that. I didn't expect it to be my favourite film. Um, obviously, I know I watched it as a child and was quite scared by it, but I'd kind of forgotten what it was about. Basically, I had no idea. In, in recollection, I couldn't remember anything about it. To be perfectly honest, I might not have even seen the whole thing as a child. I might have just seen a bit of it. But watching it now for what would have been the first time, really, it's it's good. It's enjoyable. I can see why a lot of people really enjoy this film. Uh, in terms of the IMDb rating, it's 6.9 out of 10, which is a really good rating, let's face it. I can see the appeal. The narrative doesn't necessarily appeal to me, but the visual quality and the special effects and the editing are all quite a great success that I, I really can't fault the film 